It's no small thing to open your doors to a film crew, never mind for a movie that intimately depicts your parents. But that's exactly what conductor Leonard Bernstein and actor Felicia Monti Allegri Bernstein's children did during the production of Bradley Cooper's movie Maestro. Cooper shot at the family's Fairfield, Connecticut, home which the couple bought in 1962 and Leonard left to his children, Jamie, Nina, and Alexander Bernstein, when he died in 1990. When a movie is shot in your house, it's a tremendous disruption, Jamie says, explaining that she'd gone through the process on a previous film that was shot in her New York apartment. But she and her siblings didn't let that knowledge stop them from allowing Cooper and his crew to film in Fairfield. An element of trust ran through the entire project, so it's not surprising that that trust extended to letting our house be part of the film. Everything Bradley did created this environment where everybody felt this bond and warmth and sense of trust and safety. Though Jamie and her siblings were never on set during production, friends who helped take care of the property witnessed the prep and described it as if the filmmakers had picked the house up and taken it upside down and shaken it, but by the end of filming, everything was returned back to its rightful place. Production designer Kevin Thompson was a part of that careful upturning, as he sought the best way of representing the central characters' tastes as they manifest in their living space. Research is a part of any production designer's process and the opportunity to be in the home, never mind shoot there, was an unparalleled route to understanding the films to subjects. The home had not changed much in terms of architecture or wall coverings and things like that, so we were able to actually see the layers of things that Felicia had done to the house, Thompson explains. We were also able to get into the intimate aspect of family photos, Felicia's paintings on the walls, the subjects that she painted, the things in the junk drawer, and there were still traces of them almost everywhere, 